Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and today we're going to be talking all about Labo VR because they've only blooming gone and announced that Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild are going to get bloody VR support. Oh! Yes, in case you missed the news, Super Mario Odyssey and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild are getting support for Labo VR, if you didn't get that from what I just said with my mouth words. Super Mario Odyssey is getting, like, some special missions, you know, that are specific to the VR thing, so it's kind of like, I suppose, additional content, but it's only, like, three missions. And Breath of the Wild, you can play the old blooming thing in VR, which, oh, the whole thing is really cool and all that, but I think it's indicative of even more than Nintendo's letting on. And they're not letting on because E3 is around the corner and it's a good time to say what I'm about to say. But anyway, that's more than enough waffling. Let's dive right into things. <laughs> So, just in case you didn't see the big video we did about Labo VR, we've actually had a go with it. We don't have it here yet, although we're hoping soon. Oh, but we did get the chance to have a good go with it over at Nintendo UK's headquarters and, you know, sort of play around. And it was mainly the blaster that we used and obviously standard VR gubbins headset type thing. And overall, we were actually a lot more impressed than we actually expected to be. The whole thing's got a lot going for it. It's a lot more involved and there's a lot more in the whole software type thing than we expected and everything, you know, VR-wise, the 720p screen and everything, it didn't really seem as big of a deal as we genuinely expected it to be. We thought it would be a puke fest. But in fact, it was a, a, a fine fest, a dry, a dry fest. We think one of the reasons for this is the fact that you're holding it up to your face like that. So you never really sort of get properly 100% immersed in the game. And you don't sort of, it doesn't trick your brain into thinking that this is reality. And the 720p screen, I don't know, just, just seemed fine. Yeah, it looked kind of pixely, but... It, it didn't really matter. It didn't really seem like a big deal. Again, it's not trying to be the ultra, ultra immersive kind of experience that a lot of other VR games are potentially trying to be. So it works, it's fine, and this VR content that we're going to get with Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild looks like it's going to be a good Super Mario Odyssey. It seems really simple, you know, sort of specific content created with VR in mind, and you're seeing Mario running around in third person, and, ooh, I've just thought of another one that would work really well. Captain Toad. And I don't imagine the development-wise, it really took a lot of effort. I mean, it, you know, I'm not, I'm not poo-pooing the efforts of, the, you know, Nintendo and the developers and just... I'm just saying that I don't think that it's, you know, a huge drain on resources, and it's not like it's going to be taking away from DLC for Odyssey or anything like that, or the, the Odyssey DLC, if we ever get it, which is looking less and less likely all the time, is going to be VR-focused. I think it's just a little bit of bonus extra gubbins, and it didn't really take that long to make, which is how I think it should be. Breath of the Wild, on the other hand... Oh, dearie me. We don't fully know how it's going to work, but I imagine there's probably going to be at least some head tracking going on. Maybe, or maybe it's going to be limited to when you're, you're like shooting arrows and stuff like that. We just don't know. We didn't see any sort of movements per se too much with like head tracking movements. So I don't know whether it's just going to be displaying the game in 3D and, you know, sort of... 3D, I said 3D, <laughs> like the whole sort of VR thing, and maybe, you know, so then when you go to aim, you can go wah, wah, like that, which would make sense, but I think looking around, it, I can't really see how it would work when, you know, Link's just running around in Breath of the Wild, but I could be wrong, I could be entirely wrong, could have head tracking, I, I don't know, because I haven't played it with the VR. But the whole game can be played in VR. And they did have a thing saying that pre-rendered cutscenes cannot be, uh, you know, are not supported in VR. But I don't actually know how many pre-rendered cutscenes there are in the game. It's possible that maybe the memories are pre-rendered, but I, th I don't know. I don't think they're pre-rendered because they run, you know, pretty consistently. They don't seem to be running at any high resolution or anything like that. Or maybe they're just trying to make it look like it's in-game, but actually it is pre-recorded. I don't blooming know. And maybe I should have checked before starting this video. But anyway, that's besides the point. The point is, is that I think that this was potentially even less effort than you get with, uh, with, with the whole sort of Super Mario thing. Because it's not like they created brand new content or anything like that. They've just said, okay, you know... Put the VR on, split the split the thing. In fact, actually, nobody... I don't imagine anybody really knows what the VR thing looks like. Oh, no, they do, because I've shown it in a trailer. Looks like this. 
And that's not an effect for like the trailers or anything like that. That's actually how the, it does it when you're using VR. So it does the whole sort of whoop thing. It's really cool and it's a nice little touch. Oh, I'm not sure how good Breath of the Wild or Super Mario Odyssey are going to look when you've got the VR headset on and all that sort of thing. Because yes, very low resolution. And the games in the VR kit that it comes with have been sort of designed with this lower resolution in mind. So it, you know, it kind of works around it. But a game like Breath of, Breath of the Wild, I don't know so much. It's going to be cool, don't get me wrong, and I, I don't think they're ever going to push it as the best way to play Breath of the Wild. But, I, you know, it's just a novelty, isn't it? It's a novelty at the end of the day. But is it going to be worth it? Oh, that's going to be something that we'll have to find out on the 25th of April. But that takes me nicely into my prediction for what this means. And it's not just, you know, oh, we're going to add some VR gubbins, wouldn't it be lovely? Ho <laughs> ho! The fact is, is that for a game like Breath of the Wild, it's not really... I don't think it's going to be great on the 720p screen that is then divided again. Again, I could I could be entirely wrong, but I think Nintendo are really going to want to push the best sort of lovely experience and make it really nice. And you know how I think they're going to do that? I think this is... I'll get to the point, shall I? I genuinely think that all this VR stuff and the fact that they're introducing it, like retroactively putting it into games, suggests that they're going to be producing a Switch Pro model with a 1080p screen, maybe even higher. I doubt most games will actually display any more than 1080p, but it could be high resolution for VR. Then again, I don't know whether they bother that much. 1080p, we'll just say it's a 1080p dead. Tapetitipotitit screen. Nintendo are taking this whole VR thing much more seriously. I mean, if they'd done this like maybe a couple of months down the line, then I would have said, okay, you know, they're riding on the success and they want more people to get involved with the VR kit, but no. They are taking a gamble with this, you know. If, if the VR kit was a complete flop, then they would have done all this work, which I don't know whether it was, you know, would be an enormous amount of work, but they've done the work that they've done for nothing, no return. But they're taking a gamble and saying, we think this VR thing is going to be pretty, pretty damn tasty as a sort of a novelty. I still don't think it's going to be the best way to play the game. And so they're saying, look at all this stuff. And a very easy way to improve the uh, the VR experience and to get, you know, sort of, it's going to get its hooks into people and people are going to go, oh, cool VR games, but oh, I wish it had slightly higher clarity. Boom! E3 comes around, Nintendo says, hey guys, we got a Switch Pro, it's got a 1080p screen, the best thing about, and maybe some other gubbins as well, but the best thing about it is, all your games are going to be 1080p, play it in your VR thing, it's going to be an even better experience, twice the pixel count, or I don't know whether it'd be actually that much, but you know, higher, it's going to look better, make your VR games the best they can be, and people are going to go, you know what, that's a damned tasty idea, I think I'll buy me one of those Switch Pro models. Admittedly, if we hadn't had all the rumors going around about a Switch Pro model and a Switch Mini, blah, 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 all that sort of thing going around, I probably wouldn't have admittedly leapt to this conclusion. But even so, I do think it's sort of everything seems to be lining up quite nicely. Not perfectly, but quite nicely, which is actually when, when it's when it's not quite perfect, that's more indicative that it's actually true. Look at the Grinch leak. But again, I do want to stress this is pure speculation and it's not like we have any insider knowledge or anything like that. We are as just as ignorant as you lot out there, you lovely people. We don't know. Nintendo could never do a revision to the Switch. I think they'd be mad not to, but I, I, they could. It's possible that they will never do one and none of this will happen. But I, I, I would be a stupid thing to do. Another question that stems from all this that I touched on very, very briefly earlier is what other games could Nintendo add VR support to? And what other games that Nintendo doesn't produce or publish could add VR support? Because I imagine, realistically, if they can just throw it in and realistically, I, I don't think you're... It's, it's really going to be any strain on the system, I don't think. I, I really don't know because this is all speculation and based on nothing, but considering the pixel count is so low per eye and it is two circles, and it's not like, you know, sort of it's taking up both sides of the screen, it, yeah, it's rendering the same thing twice and slightly differently and doing some 3D gubbins. But could, you know... Is it going to be that much of a strain? Could could it not just be like a drag and drop thing? That would be so cool, you know, just drag and drop Wolfenstein 2 VR. Do it. 
The scope is absolutely enormous and I think that's really exciting because I think the biggest thing holding back VR development is that people are expecting, you know, sort of head tracking and 100% and, you know, sort of, oh, look, I've got my hands really in the world and the most immersive experience possible, whilst Nintendo is going for more of a sort of a a Game Boy approach rather than the Game Gear. The Game Gear at the time was, you know, if you don't know, was a Sega console handheld, had a 3D, you know, not 3D, what the hell am I talking about? It had a sort of a, for the time, high resolution screen with color and all that. And then the Game Boy came around and was just like, now, nah, you know what? You don't need any of that rubbish. Make it monochrome, cheap as chips and stick it out there. Because this VR headset, when you've got the Switch, is £35. It's like $40. It's insane. And if all it was was the just a visual thing, making the game slightly stereoscopic 3D and stuff like that, I, and you could just, oh, if you could just like, it's literally just drag and drop for developers. If Nintendo made it that easy, which I don't think they would, but this is kind of a wouldn't it be nice situation, then I don't think there are many games that wouldn't want to take advantage of it. I mean, obviously it wouldn't work for some games. You know, there are some games like puzzle games where it really wouldn't add anything and it's just blooming pointless. But I'm sure there are plenty of developers out there where if Nintendo made it really easy to make a VR version or just a VR option if you like, then you, you just update the game and ooh, you've got VR. I hate to sound like a broken record, but once again, this is all pure speculation. Don't get your hopes up or anything like that. This is just me sort of shooting the breeze, throwing some ideas out there, seeing what sticks and all that metaphorical gubbins. The VR kit could just be this, you know, Super Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild and that's it. We could not see anything else in the future, so don't get your hopes up too high because that way you might be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you run away with that subscribe button based on very little evidence and start going off on complete and utter whimsical tangents on the belief that something lovely may occur. And be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>